Hello future doctors, welcome to Dipenism. I am Dr. Dipen Shah and today we will be discussing about structural organization in specifically earthworms. Now earthworms, they are mainly found in the soil environment and they are considered to be burrowing in nature. The scientific name of earthworm is Ferritima posthuma, where Ferritima is the genus and posthuma is the species. This is known as common Indian earthworm which is found in northern parts of India. There is another genus known as Megascolex which is usually found in the southern India. There is also another earthworm which is known as Lumbricus which is known as European earthworm. Now earthworms belongs to the phylum Annelida which means these are cylindrical and segmented worms. Now there are certain reasons why we study uh, earthworms in the phylum Annelida. One of the reason is it has various evolutionary significance. One of the evolutionary uh, characteristic that has been observed is closed blood vascular system. That means it contains presence of blood vessels. Even it has hemoglobin present dissolved in the plasma. Apart from that, these are the first true coelomates having the body cavity. Also, the segments that are present, they coincide externally and with the internal segments, which we call it as metamerism property. So, these are the certain characteristic features why earthworms are studied in detail. Now, the common Indian earthworm, Ferritima posthuma, it has around 100 to 120 segments. Each segment is known as metamere. I have numbered the individual segments and it goes up to 100 as such. Now, these segments contains the locomotory structures and the locomotory structures are known as setae. The singular is seta. So these are the S-shaped setae which are present which helps in the locomotion. But as you can observe in the diagram, the first segment, the last segment and these much segments do not contain presence of setae. Okay. Now these segments 14 to 16 has a specific glandular structure. This glandular structure is known as clitellum. Now the clitellum extending from 14 to 16 segment has the role of secretion of mainly mucus and albumin. And these secretions mainly helps in the formation of cocoon. And in that cocoon, there will be process of uh, sperm and ova fusing to undergo fertilization event. So the external morphology of earthworm is mainly divided into three parts. That is segment 1 to 13 is known as pre-chitalar. Segment 14 to 16 is known as clitalar. And segment 17th to the last segment is known as post clitellar. So clitellum is considered as a reference point for dividing the body into three parts pre clitellar and post clitellar. Now the entire segments which are present in that there are certain unique segments which has to be discussed in detail. For example the first segment of the earthworm is known as peristomium. So peristomium is the first segment of the earthworm. Now the word stoma usually refers to the mouth. So the peristomium first segment it leads into the mouth cavity which is followed by buccal cavity and pharynx. Hence the first segment is known as peristomium. So this is I'm representing the lateral view of the earthworm. And when you observe from the lateral view, the first segment has a fleshy lobe, has a fleshy extension and that extension is known as the prostomium. So remember, the lobe is the prostomium and the first segment is known as peristomium. The function of the prostomium is mainly sensory. Apart from that, this prostomium creates a wedge into the soil and that wedging effect helps in breaking open the soil particles that helps in the process of burrowing. 
and that is why we also call earthworm as friend of the farmer we have utilized it for the process of vermi composting also it increases the fertility as well so that is the role of prostomium now apart from this what we can observe in the earthworm are certain openings or apertures now one of the aperture that is present that is the mouth cavity so mouth cavity will be entering when we enter into the peristomium it will lead into the mouth cavity so that is the first aperture the other aperture which will be present after the last segment is the anus and that is emerging from the last segment that is known as anal segment or it is also known as pygidium so since it has two separate openings we call this body plan as tube within tube body plan that means it has complete digestive system now the third major pores which are present they are mainly present on the lateral surface and these lateral surfaces on this side as well as that side of the lateral surface contains four pairs of pores which are known as which are known as sperma thecal pores so this sperma thecal pores are mainly four pairs and this sperma thecal pores are present mainly between fifth and sixth sixth and seventh seventh and eighth and eighth and ninth intersegmental grooves so between the segment this grooves which are present that contains the sperma thecal pores the major role of the pores is that it receives the sperms from another earthworm in spite of earthworm being bisexual or hermaphrodite they follow cross fertilization because of a condition known as protoandry that means male sex organs they mature before and female sex organs they mature afterwards hence they follow cross fertilization so from another earthworm the sperms are stored in the sperma thecal pores which are total four pairs specifically in the 14th segment on the ventral surface now here i am representing the ventral surface which is facing towards the ground on the ventral surface on the 14th segment there is presence of a female genital pore so this female genital pore will be helping in release of the ova but it is single opening exactly on the 18th segment there are pair of openings which are known as the male genital pore so 14th has female and 18th has male genital pore on the ventral surface female pore is unpaired but male genital pore is paired exactly adjacent to the male genital pore on the 17th and 19th segment there is presence of structures in pairs which are known as genital papillae and this genital papillae total there are two pairs they mainly discharge the fluids from accessory sex glands and from the male genital pore there will be discharge of sperm cell so the major cavities we have discussed is mouth anus sperma thecal pores female genital pores male genital pores and genital papillae another pores which are present throughout the body segments of the earthworm except the first two segments except the first two segments the entire body contains pores known as nephridio pores the word nephro is related with excretion so this nephridio pores has the function of excretion of nitrogenous waste products apart from that after the 12th segment that contains certain pores on the dorsal surface which are known as the dorsal pores and these dorsal pores mainly discharges the coelomic fluid so this what we have discussed is the external morphology of the earthworm stay tuned for my further videos thank you